Hey everyone, it's Andrew. I'm back for another video uh, blog. This time I'm going to be moving away from uh, dolls and going to be focusing on the first toy that I really seriously collected, which is My Little Pony. They're all from like the 80s and very early 90s when it was still that grouping of My Little Ponies that they were producing before they started the 97 ones and then later like the 2003 ones. So um, this is the majority of what I have in my collection for My Little Pony. So I guess this is like a new series. It's my My Little Pony collection part one of probably like 10 videos. So they'll be coming up uh, probably periodically forever, I don't know. <laughs> These I've had since like I was three years old and I've kept them and they're not in like the best condition because like a dog's gotten a hold of them or because I've had them since I was three and I'm 25 now. So um, they've stood the test of time and I love these toys so much. They're like my childhood. And um, yeah, so with that, let's just get started. So um, I have some stuff written up just to give you guys like more information about My Little Pony just because it's such a old toy line. Toy line. It's been around since 1982 and uh, it's still going strong today. It's had a couple like little um, breaks here in North America, but I think pretty much in Europe it's been going strong since uh, 1982, around for a long time like in North America, and they've just had like a couple little breaks in between them, but um, they've been around for a long time. They're a great toy. I love them. So uh, let's get started. Um, this is like my very first or second pony that I ever got when I was little. Um, I don't remember, I think one of my aunts gave her to me, um, it's Butterscotch, and she's in the collector's pose. Uh, this pony's from 1982. Um, you can always tell what year they're from just by looking on the bottom of their feet, and if it's a real pony or not, because it's, say, like, the year, and then, of course, Hasbro. So, this pose that she's in is, um, unique to this collection in the first year. It's the only ponies that came out in this pose, um, that's called the collector pose. Uh, this pose in real life is actually a pose that a horse would do if it was sick. So, uh, yeah, her symbol are little butterflies, and again, once I said, I said it, I think before, her name's Butterscotch, and she has a gold mane and tail and a gold body. Um, this pony, um, when it first came out, I was reading, uh, all the information I got is from Dream Valley, which is like a really good website, so I'll give you a link to it, and it has like amazing resources for My Little Pony collectors. So, um, it came out, and they first packaged it as, um, a little sister to the My Pretty Pony, which is like a whole, it's, you should just read about it, because it's pretty, it's neat. And, um, just so you know, the ones that came out the first year have flat hooves, and these ones have concave hooves. I have a couple of them that do have the flat hooves, so they'll be coming up in other videos, but, uh, yeah. So, you can see my old dog got her ear, but, uh, I love this one, so she's a lot of memories for me. Um, the next one is part of the Sweetberry Ponies, um, which came out in mid-1988. And they were the last ones of that year. And um, sometimes they're included in part of the year seven because they were released so late. And yeah, so this pony is Strawberry Surprise. And she's an earth pony. And it's, she's pale pink, dark pink hair, and light green eyes. And her symbol is um, a little bowl of strawberries and milk and then a jar of cream. And they were scented when you first got them. I remember getting this when I was really little. My dad had come back from Scotland when he was visiting his family, and he brought me this back. So, um, this pony is like, it's, I, I must have been like four or five. I wasn't even in elementary school yet, so that's this one, and she has blush, and her hair is still in pretty good condition for being that old. So, and yeah, once again, she's from 87, which it says, but, I don't know, it's weird. Anyways, um... Okay, these ponies are really one of my favorites. I think that they're so pretty, and um, I only have a couple of them, and none of them were from my original collection. These are ones that I bought when I was in high school and I was really into collecting My Little Pony. I used to make my mom go to the flea market with me every Sunday and to like um, a secondhand toy store that was around my house. Like Every Sunday we would do that, and I would go 
and like search for them and the toy store had my number so if they got any in they would call me and I would go right away and like buy a bunch of them. So that might have been from that or it might have been from the flea market, I'm not 100% sure. But it's the Twinkle Eyed Ponies and um, they have like little jewels in their eyes like that and um, they came with a brush comb ribbon and a scented body sticker in their package. And this one's name is Gingerbread, and she's a Earth Pony, and you can see she's white with blue Gingerbread Men, and her hair is like this, kind of like a aqua blue, a purple, a white, and, and kind of like a lavender color, but it might have faded. Um, what does it say? It doesn't have her, oh, it's a uh, blue, dark purple, light pink, and purple hair. So it was pink at one time, but it faded in her tail too. That happens a lot with them, it's they, they fade, and this one is from 85, so it is a year older than me. <laughs> this pony is 26 years old. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, so the next one are, these ponies are very, very odd. It's a perfume puff pony, and uh, my cousin actually gave me this one from her collection that she had as a kid. Um, and yeah, so it's this one, it's a Pegasus. This one's name is Lavender Lace. Um, and it's supposed to be, their hair is supposed to be puffed out like clouds of spritz perfume and only the forelock of their hair is like a regular My Little Pony hair. Um, this one is, I don't know, her original body color was like a pale lavender it says, but now she's more like a grey color. And um, uh, her symbol is like a little perfume body, bottle with some hearts floating above it. So at first when I got this horse I thought her hair was just ruined and then, or this pony, sorry, and then I realized that it was actually supposed to be like this. So um, she's a pretty pony. I like her. Her hair is kind of like matted now though, but um, I really like this one and she's from 87. I don't know if I said that or not. So next we have some kind of different ones. These are from 1991 to 92. So this was the 10th year of My Little Pony and it's probably the last year of them and they seem to be like marketing it as like their 10th year and like kind of like the last year. So this one is a Sweet Kisses Pony and my friend Vanessa she gave me a lot of her My Little Ponies when she was moving this year so I got like a bunch of new ones which was pretty cool because I haven't really been actively looking for them and I think the ones from the 80s are pretty hard to find now. Um, this one is a Sweetheart Sister Mold. So they're bigger, they're more slender looking. Um, it's kind of almost like a pre-notion of what was to come in 97 with the 1997 My Little Ponies with the slender bodies. Um, but they still very much look like the 80s ones with their faces. So this one's name is Love and Kisses, and the thing about this one is that her, um, their lips were like painted on. Symbols a big XO with hearts around it, and she has tinsel in her hair, and she's from the Sweet Kisses Pony, and her name's Love and Kisses. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, the next pony, oh no wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Sun Delta Ponies, and they're in the Sweetheart Sister mold, um, and they're of course an earth pony and they have like very vibrant eyeshadow and um, I think that the color in their hair changes. This one, this used to be like pink, this color I think. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be hot pink but it's completely faded and her symbol is like a little sailboat floating in the water above some palm trees. So, And this again was from the girl who gave me the other one. Alright, so this one is Probably one of the most different ponies that they came out with. Um, it's from 89 to 90. Um, it's a Dream Beauty. And I remember getting this when I was little and thinking that it was like for Rainbow Bright kind of because it was just so different than the other ones. I didn't know if it was a My Little Pony or not. And they kind of marketed them as being all grown up My Little Ponies, which didn't make sense because in the movies and stuff, all the adult ponies had the bodies of the toys so it was kind of weird but um this one's a dream beauty one's name is windsweeper and she's a powder blue and her hair colors were um 
light pink, aqua, dark blue, and she has light purple eyes. So you can see her hair is in the, in the greatest condition, and she also has like a row of beads where her mane is. So I really like this uh, horse. I think that they're very pretty. Some of the ones that they had, I remember them being like see-through with glitter, and they were just... I remember being little and just being like, oh my god, that horse is so pretty, like I want them all, like looking in the little catalogs that came with them. Um, yeah. So the next one I also got from um, my cousin. This one's from the second year of My Little Pony. Or, I'm sorry, the third year. And um, it's from the Unicorn and Pegasus collection, which they came out and they were just like unicorns and Pegasus. So, um, their symbols are all glittery from that year. This one's name is Sparkler, who is one of my favorite My Little Ponies. I think that I love this pose, I love their face, I love, it's just such a, I think it's very pretty. I just love it. And her mane and tail are actually in pretty good condition. They're very, like, the color's still really vibrant. And, yeah, so her, uh, Sparkler... And uh, her hair was actually curled when she first came out, but obviously it's been decurled. And um, yeah, that's all about her, that I really like her too. So the next one that I have, um, I have two of these ones, and this one I found at a flea market and is actually in amazing condition compared to the other one that I have. So um, this one is from uh, 84, 85, which is the third year, I think. Um, and... This year is kind of like a weird year for My Little Pony because it was right before they got really popular. So a lot of the um, toys in this year are kind of hard to find. That's what it says. And um, came out with uh, Firefly's Adventure, which is the movie that you guys should all watch because it's amazing. There's the Sea Pony song. The Sea Ponies came out that year. And Megan, who is the, the main character in it, is this is supposed to be her horse, which they never actually show in the movie. It's... Um, I think the horse's name is like TJ or PJ or something like that, but um, this is supposed to be her horse. And I found this horse, or this pony, she still has some of the original curl in her mane and tail. The color is still pretty good, and the quality of the hair is still really nice. And she came with her bridle and saddle, which is like a velvety material with like a little flower and stuff. And she's very pretty. Her symbol is um, hearts and triangles and like a circle. And yeah, so I, like, the person that had it before drew like a little smiley face on the hoof, which is kind of cool. So this is a very pretty pony. I like her a lot. And then the next one is, I think my, also that pony's name was Sunheads. So I don't know if I said that or not. I think I did. Um, is the Summer Wing Ponies that's coming up. And I think this is like my very first My Little Pony that I got when I was like three or four and my mom bought her for me because my mom was taking my brother to beaver camp which is kind of like scouts in Canada and I was kind of upset because my mom was leaving so my mom bought me uh, this My Little Pony and she used to have like little plastic wings that came up because they're supposed to be kind of like butterfly ponies so this is Buzzer and her hair is in horrible condition her feet are chewed off by my old dog which I was very upset about and um, she's turquoise with yellow hair and pink eyes and she has flowers a yellow flower and under her eye and her symbol is like a little bee or a firefly I guess and yeah so she is one of my first ones ever I really like this one um, okay so baby pony is um, a first tooth Pony, it's baby Fifi. She is from 1987, and I think her hair was probably light pink, and then there's like the darker pink here. She has a little tooth, and her symbol are two little purple poodles, which of course I love poodles, so um, yeah. I've had, I bought this one uh, from somewhere. I never had any of the baby ponies when I was little, so um, yeah, she was a acquired pony along the way. And then the next one is kind of like Sundance, except it's Baby Betty by Sundance. And this is one freaky deaky pony. Um, I don't like these Betty by Eye ones. I'll like put it up close and maybe you can see it. 
the eyes and then they open and close. Her eyes are rusted, like, on top. I guess from, like, whatever metal's in there and, like, playing in the bath with them because that's what a lot of kids did. And she's from 86. So this pony is 25 years old. And her hair's in still decent condition except that she looks like one of those, like, weird bird things out of the dark crystal, her face. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she's baby Sundance and she came with uh, Megan's little sister, Molly, which I don't have. And then last but not least is Baby Beach Ball, and I have her in one of the pony fashions. Baby Beach Ball was part of the tropical, or it's from the Paradise Babies, and they're all neon colors, so she's this orange, and then her hair is like purple and pink and stuff, and she has like a little beach ball. But, um, this was the first year that the baby clothing came out for the, uh, for them and I managed to find this whole collection of baby pony clothing brand new mint in box never been opened at a toy store and I bought the whole collection and it's amazing I took them out because I wanted them to wear because I was never gonna resell them again but um, yeah this is just one of the outfits and it's a little bunny and it came with like a little friend that you put in here and um, it still has, like, the original sticker and, like, the booklet and everything. It was so cool. That was, like, such an amazing find. And, um, yeah. So they're very, very cute on the ponies. There's, like, a, um, a dinosaur. There's, like, an overalls. There's a clown one. And there'll be one in each video. So, um, yeah. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there's going to be more to come further down just like every once in a while. These videos are kind of hard to make because I have to like write up all the information because I have so many of them I just forget their names. But um, again, all of the information that I got for this video besides like the stuff that I've taken from like my own knowledge has been from uh, dreamvalley.com which is like this big pony database and you can do like a search engine in it. And when I first started collecting I used to go on there all the time and just spend hours on there learning about all of the different stuff just because I love doing that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!